Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the very first video in my 2019 summer series. In this new series, I'm going to be painting things related to the summertime. And I don't know about you, but one thing that pops into my mind when I think of summertime is lemonade and nice fresh fruits. So today we're going to be painting some lemons. This loose style is so much fun and seriously not too hard even for beginners. So let's dive right in and start creating. So I pulled out a few of my favorite yellows here. We first got Jean Brilliant number one from Holbein, and then we have yellow ochre, gamboge hue, Naples yellow, and then I'm gonna add in a couple of greens. I'm gonna use sap green as well as indigo. Um, I pulled out ultramarine, but I'm not gonna end up using that. Those are just the colors for the leaves. Now I actually didn't end up using all of these yellow colors. I just decided to stick with a lighter yellow and then a darker yellow. So I'm beginning with the Jaune Brilliant right now just to create a light wash. Um, I found that a little bit too light so I went over it with Gamboge Hue which is sort of a medium toned yellow. And for the remainder of the piece I'm basically going to be using Gamboge Hue and Yellow Ochre. I'm working on dry paper. This is the Arches cold pressed paper and I've got a wet brush. This is my Wonder Forest number no. eight round brush and I've got a nice mixture of watery paint and I just started creating one edge of the lemon. So basically we're just gonna paint on sort of an oval shape and I'm gonna concentrate this color around the left hand side. Now lemons sort of have this little pointy tip and a little nub at the bottom, so I definitely want to include that as well. And I'm gonna keep this painting really loose with my brush strokes. You can see that I'm holding my brush more towards the center of the brush as opposed to down by the base of the bristles. That's just because it allows you to get a greater range of motion with your wrist and with the brush itself, so it allows for a looser style. So as I paint on the color here, I just wanna make sure that I keep the edges nice and wet. And I am gonna be keeping in some white space as well that's gonna act as highlight. Now I'm just taking yellow ochre and I'm applying that onto the opposite side of the lemon. This side is gonna be the darker side. And I'm using my brush sort of on the side a lot of the time just to get that really loose um, effect with my strokes. And using the two shades of yellow is really gonna help make this look less flat. I'm keeping the edges a little bit crisp for now. I am going to, as I said previously, keep that paint nice and wet so that I can blend those edges out because I really want this to be a more loose sort of suggested lemon as opposed to like a actual hard edged kind of painting. So I'm just taking clean water right now and watch the very tip of my brush because what I'm doing is I'm just very lightly touching some of the edges of the lemon and that's going to allow some of those parts to kind of bleed out into the wet clear area that I've just added. This is definitely not something that you have to do. I just really liked the effect and it kind of ties in with the whole loose splotchy effect that I wanted. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Always, always make sure when you do this that you're using a clean brush. So make sure you swish that around in your clean water first to get all of the pigment out and then go in around the edges and just lightly touch some of those edges with the brush to the water. With the paint still wet, I'm going to add in a little bit more yellow ochre and I just want to apply that to the bottom area here because I want that area to be darker. I'm just using my brush in these short swooping motions to drag that color upwards. Now I'm adding in a little bit of indigo because I wanted a little bit of shadow detail. This is also going to help the lemon take shape a little bit better. I like using cool tones for shadows, which is why I decided to use the indigo. 
and using the very tip of my brush, I'm just going to apply that to the wet yellow paint along the edge as well, just to define that a little bit more. You can really see how the white areas that we left untouched with paint are really helping to make the lemon look a little bit more three-dimensional and less flat. So now that that has completely dried, I'm just going to mix up a color for my leaves. I'm mixing up some sap green with some indigo and I'm just going to start creating leaves. I always like adding a little bit of blue to my greens just to make them cooler. So to begin, I'm just going to draw in the stem. So I'm using the very tip of my brush. Sorry that my hand is covering it right now, but here you can see what I've done. And then I'm just gonna thicken the very end of it. Now again, with the very tip of my brush, pressing very, very lightly, I'm just going to create a little stem coming off of that main stem that holds the leaf. So I'm just gonna push down on my brush and really get that belly of the brush hitting the paper. And I'm just gonna drag that water, that puddle of water that I've created, I'm just gonna start dragging that down in really short swoopy motions. Again, to keep that sort of sketchy, really loose appearance. And I'm adding in a little bit more sap green just to liven it up a little bit. And again, I'm making sure to leave lots of white space. So now I decided that I wanted to add a leaf sort of coming in from behind the lemon. And I also wanted to do this to define that edge of the lemon a little bit better. This will just help clean up some of the lines as well. So again, I'm gonna use the very tip of my brush and I'm just gonna sort of start going along the edge of where the lemon is. And then I'm just gonna try to imagine what it would look like if the leaf was coming in from behind the lemon. So I'm going to create the end of the leaf here and then I'm going to work on sort of bringing it out and making it a little bit more round looking. So I've added a little bit more indigo just to darken that up and I'm not gonna worry if it touches the other leaf. I kind of like that effect, how they blend together. And I'm just pulling that over the edge of the lemon just to, again, clean that up a little bit more and define that edge. Now I'm deciding on the placement of a third leaf because I always think things look better in thirds. So we're going to add another one on the opposite side here just to help balance everything out. Again, for this one, I wanna keep some white space and I'm just dragging that around the edge of the lemon to help define that a little bit better as well. Now rinsing off my brush really well and taking some clean water again, I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did for the lemon and create some nice wet smudges. So again, applying that wet brush around the edges and then really lightly touching it to some of those wet edges of the leaves. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Now that I'm happy with that, I wanted to add in a couple little splashes of paint. So I've just taken a really wet wash of um, gamboge hue on my brush and I'm just really lightly creating some splatters. And that's gonna do it for the first lemon. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to create the second lemon. Okay, so we're going to use gamboge hue again. We're gonna use the same colors that we used previously. And I'm just going to draw on a half of a slice of lemon. So you kinda of wanna create this semicircle shape. It's going to bend down and then come back up again on both sides. Kind of like, um, I guess you can think of it as a moon kind of on its side. 
And again, I'm keeping my paint really wet. I don't want this to dry too much on the paper as I'm working. I'm just taking a more concentrated mix of paint here and I'm applying that around the top edge. And my brush strokes for this one again are gonna be quite sketchy and I'm gonna use the side of my brush a lot along the way as well. So just watch how I'm holding my brush and how I'm sort of flicking it and creating these brush strokes. Once again, I'm gonna keep those white highlights in the center and I wanna keep one side a little bit darker. So I'm gonna add yellow ochre to the right hand side and I'm gonna keep the left hand side a little bit lighter. And just using yellow ochre here, I'm just adding a little bit more to this edge and then I will define the edge a little bit more with that color and the very tip of my brush. We're gonna do the same thing that we did in the last piece with the clear water. I'm just gonna lightly touch that a little bit to some of the edges. You can see how I barely touch it, but it still allows for that really nice paint bleed. Now I wanna do the upper edge of the lemon, so I'm just taking some gamboge hue on my brush and using the very tip of my brush, I'm going to create the other half of this lemon. So you're gonna do kind of an upside down semicircle, so opposite of what you did previously, but it's just gonna be an outline this time. Now I'm gonna start on the inside of the lemon. I'm gonna create the little lemon wedges. And to do this, I'm just making really fast little strokes coming from the center out towards the edge. And they're gonna kind of be like triangle shapes. And once again, to keep that whole effect of the rest of the piece, I'm leaving a lot of white space in between. So don't worry about filling these pieces in completely. Just kind of be really rough with your brush and suggest where these wedges should go. I'm also adding in a little bit of yellow ochre to these to make it a little bit more varied in the yellow tones. I'll just speed this up a little bit as I finish all of those wedges. Now I wanted to create some splatters, so again I'm taking a nice wet brush filled with paint and I'm just splattering on some yellow. It's time now to create the second lemon. This is going to be a full um, uncut lemon coming in from behind the sliced one. So I'm just gonna start with gamboge hue and really roughly kind of sketch on, using my paintbrush, sketch on this lemon hiding behind the one in the foreground. The area closest to the first lemon is gonna be darker because with that one in front, it's gonna create a shadow towards the back or the bottom half of that second lemon. Once again, keeping these strokes really light and really loose and allowing for some of that white space to show through. And just defining that edge a little bit better around the first lemon and make sure not to touch those lemon wedges that we just created with the new lemon. And then I'm gonna take some indigo and I'm going to start applying that along the area that I said was gonna be in shadow. And then just adding on a little bit of a darker mix of yellow ochre. Now we're gonna let that layer dry completely. 
So with everything dry, we can work on the leaves now. So I'm mixing up some of that sap green again with some of the indigo, and I'm just going to suggest where the edge of that top lemon is, and I'm going to kind of clean that up using the leaves as I did in the previous lemon. And as always, I'm keeping these strokes really sketchy and leaving the white space that I want. I'm just adding in a little bit more indigo here because I just wanted these to look a little less flat. To help define the opposite edge of the lemons as well, I'm going to add in another leaf on the opposite side. Now using gamboge hue again, I'm going to just define that edge a little bit more. So I'm just going to create sort of another layer on top of this initial layer that's going to allow the um, shadows and the darker areas pop a little bit better. So I'm using yellow ochre here and a little bit of gamboche hue as well and I'm just defining some of those areas that I think got a little bit lost with all of the blending and blurring. And again, I'll just work on defining those edges and making that dark area a little bit darker to give more of a shadow effect. Now to create a couple more splatters, I'm just going to splatter this on top of what I've already done. And then using the very tip of my brush, I'm gonna define some of those wedges just a little bit with a couple little strokes from my brush. Using indigo now, I'm going to define the leaves a little bit better and just give them a bit better separation. With those leaves dry, I'm going to go in now with a little bit more indigo and just separate these two leaves that kind of got meshed together. And now we're coming to the end of the video. I really hope that you guys liked it. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Also, let me know in the comments below what you would like to see for this summer series as well as which lemon project was your favorite. If you try these, be sure to tag me on Instagram and I hope to see you guys in the next video.